This is the San Siro Stadium, very recognisable, I'm sure, to many of you. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. We have Serie A action for you. Milan, and they take on Torino. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it, so I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. A couple of exceptional talents in a really good game that we might be focusing on. Well, I think both of these players should come into this match with their confidence brimming, really, because uh, they really have played well. They've uh, led from the front. This is the Milan lineup. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Simon Kerr starts alongside Alessio Romagnoli in the heart of defence. And he's pumped for an attacking lineup with two out and out attackers. Have a look at this list for Torino, their lineup here. Well, three at the back. That's the first thing that catches the eye. What about the rest of the team? Well, it looks to be a 3-4-3. Three, three. You certainly don't see it that often. And when it works, it can catch the opposition off guard, really. It can be a really awkward shape to contend with. Rebic. Rebic. Held off the opponent well. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Attacking play from Milan. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up, but they're keeping the ball well. They can't keep it on the pitch, it's gone out for a throw. Here's Teo Hernandez. Tomas Rincon. Conte, Samu Castillejo, taking on the defenders, Andrea Conte, now Castillejo, keeping the ball is one thing, but they've got to try and open up the opposition, Alex Berenguer, it's a very good interception, Simon Kier, it's Romagnoli, Kessier, and they've got a man out wide. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Here he is, Hakan Chalonolo. It's gone out for a throw in. Never quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. Shielded it well, that's good skill. And Milan have now a free kick. <laughs> Tried to catch him out with a short free kick. Ibrahimovic. Marvellous tackle. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Simone Verdi. Rincon. It's good attacking play, this, from them. It's good play, this. The opposition can't get at them when they're keeping the ball. I think the cross is on. Well, they could have conceded a goal, but they have conceded a corner. <laughs> A 
corner played into the middle. And defender can get it upfield. Here he is, Hakan Chalonolo. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Coming really deep as a forward to get on the ball. His teammates really telling him to get up the pitch. And he takes it on with a shot at goal here. Not sure, Alan, the shot was the right option there from that range, easy for the keeper. Yeah, over-ambitious that, because plenty of teammates in support. You'd still expect them to win, but I do feel they've got to switch it up a gear to start asking more questions of the opposing defence. And this is going to be a throw. Samu Castillejo. Conte, now Castillejo, now Alessio Romagnoli, Conte, Samu Castillejo, a little bit risky this manoeuvre of dropping off because the ball will keep coming at them and they won't be able to get out, we've got two added minutes that's been signalled now Bellotti. Possession with Milan. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. The second half is off and underway. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. Rincon trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. Patiently passing the ball around, trying to make a chance. And he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. How did you think uh, Ibrahimovic went in that first half? He worked hard enough, but just didn't come off for him. But he's got another half to put things right. Trying to get the cross in, well blocked by the defender. Simon Kier, one off, one on for Milan. This does look promising. Now he can cross it. Well, that was disappointing. They could have made more of it. It's Ibrahimovic here. Nice return pass. It's good. Tries the shot here. Salvatore Sirigu with a save there. An easy one. Out into the wide areas now. He can cross it now. The keeper stops it. There could be a follow-up now. A low ball into the box. And there it is, the opening goal. <laughs> well, if you keep going in to... That sort of area, the ball will drop for you, and it dropped perfectly for him. I think that's a lesson to anybody uh, in due in a goal drought. Keep getting into the positions in the 18-yard, in the six-yard box, and you will score. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. 
Great news for Milan, they're in front. And the pass not completed, really. And 20 minutes to go. Milan ready to make the change. Kessier. Milan moving the ball about, trying to open up the opposition. Akan Trelanolu, shot blocked here. Oh, that was a close one, I think. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. He's played really well, he's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Got possession back for his team. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Substitution for Milan. Kessier. Did well to spot it to switch the play. Now Teo Hernandez. Could whip it in from here. Noticeable that the home supporters are trying to help the team in this situation. They're encouraged by the lead, but they're fearful, perhaps, that this team might lose it. Well, they won't want to give anything silly away. The opposition are chasing the ball, trying to get it back and trying to get back into this match. Rebic, chance to put it in the box from here. Lucas Biglia, trying to steer that one through. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Simone Verdi. Just doesn't happen overnight, this kind of pressing. And it's working well for them, showing how much they've put into their training sessions. Keeping the ball and looking for an opening. Could get the ball into the box now. Ibrahimovic. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. He has got the opportunity to change the tactics as well as the players with some movement from the bench. Simon Kier, Andrea Conti, Bilia. It's Ibrahimovic again. He could cross it from here. Conti. Rincon. Velotti. There is the final whistle. Well, you don't have to dominate the football to win the match. This is a perfect example of it. No, there were times when they sat off, they allowed the opposition to have the ball, but really did counter-attack well. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Definitely the team's talisman out there today in amongst all that was good. Got his team ahead with that goal too.